I know about animal behavior. Can I interrupt behavior. you to dispel one popular misconception about what the term meant, just because I think people tend to labor under it. The idea uh, wasn't that our genes make us selfish. Indeed, a lot of the book, The Selfish Gene, was about how e if you view genes as being, well, selected by what you might call selfish criteria. In other words, if you, if you, if you say, look, the only question is, is your, your gene good at getting itself replicated, then it turns out that genes favoring altruism can, in some circumstances, be favored. Certainly altruism toward can, in a fairly straightforward sense. Um, and then further, you know, via the theory of reciprocal altruism that, 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 that was developed by George Williams and Robert Trivers, um, altruism uh, of a more conditional sort, perhaps, but altruism toward people you're not related to. So the selfish gene never meant, was never a view of human nature that emphasized uh, selfishness in any kind of real crass, crude sense, even though it, it might, it might so, uh, when you trace the logic out, it often means we're, we're being a little more subtly selfish than we pretend to be sometimes. But still, it, 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 the, the point was you can, in principle, without reference to group selection, explain uh, really some seemingly selfless behaviors, right? So, uh, sorry to interrupt, but, and if you disagree with that, let me know. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that that goes a bit too far, if I might say. Oh, okay, actually, well, well good, then, could then correct me. Well, I, I wouldn't, it's not as though I would correct you, but it, the issue is that um, although Dawkins at the time did emphasize group selection and reciprocal altruism as ways to reconcile the appearance of seemingly altruistic traits, and as one proponent once said, the, the purpose of uh, um, altruism theory is to take the altruism out of altruism and to um, um, reduce it in some sense to um, individual uh, strategies. Um, but, not, but not necessarily conscious strategy, and I think that's, that's well, the Well, not key. conscious, but, um, but it, when, you, when you said that um, Dawkins didn't imply that individuals were selfish or that behavior was selfish, uh, a lot of his later writing, though, does take that tone. And, uh, and certainly more than Dawkins himself, uh, more recent writers have made a large uh, deal out of uh, sexual conflict and narratives of conflict among animals. And, and it's been really the extension of the selfish gene metaphor more than the, the uh, extension, more than the statement of it as in, in um, the selfish gene that's, that's problematic. And uh, biologists today, as you probably know, are, of course, claiming that sexual conflict underlies all male-female relationships. And, uh, and so narratives of that sort um, really uh, focus on com competitive and selfish behavior to an extent that might not have been anticipated uh, in the, the lovely writing of, of Richard from uh, the early 70s. But he's contributed to that to some extent in his later work. Uh, I, I guess. I, I mean, I guess one thing I'd say, at least as, as the stuff was originally laid out, I'd say that with kin-selected altruism, which is part of kind of selfish gene theory, and it was developed by William Hamilton and, and, and so on, um, that's, that's like my altruism toward a brother or a sister or an offspring or, or whatever. Um, that can be true, pure altruism at the individual level. In other words, I'll go into a burning building at great risk to myself to save them or, or my kids. So that, I would say that, that, which is part of the original selfish gene paradigm, <clears throat> is true, pure altruism at the individual level, not at the genetic level, and that's the point. It's selfish from the gene's point of view. Um, well, the, yeah, uh, again, that, that, that that's a bit strong because uh, the, it isn't, you see, there's a slight ambiguity that's going on here is that a gene that's successful in the sense that increases in its gene frequency in the next generation doesn't mm -hmm. mean that it has to be understood as a, quote, selfish gene. Well, and it certainly doesn't no, think it, of itself that way or think at all, but, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's behavior. Yeah, may, beha may I... The behavior it induces is conducive to its own replication. Well, may I, may, may <clears throat> I sure. continue on that? Because, for example... If uh, a gene increases in frequency from one generation to the next, and it's not due to genetic drift, you would like to ask, in principle, why? Is it because uh, 
the gene helped other genes or worked in cooperation or coordination with other genes, or is it because the gene outcompeted some other gene? So why did the genes that didn't increase in the next generation uh, fail to do so? Is it because they failed to be selfish, or is it because they failed to cooperate in some sense with other genes? And if you synonymize simply uh, success, successful increase into the next generation with selfishness, then that forecloses or preempts the possibility of even asking about the role of cooperation, particularly including cooperation among genes, although that hasn't been my focus. I've been focusing on cooperation among individuals. But um, the, there's a slight, uh, there's, there's a decided loss of explanatory potential in equating uh, selfishness with success, with successful increase in numbers or in percentages into the next generation. Um, well, okay, then, then maybe it was an unfortunate term to use, but I certainly don't think that he, as he used it, at all meant to preclude the possibility that the, quote, selfishness of the gene would translate into cooperation, and in fact, reciprocal altruism is kind of an example. I, I mean, I, I think you're saying that he was to some extent misunderstood. Well, maybe you're not. I would say that, that, that the term is being misunderstood if people think it precludes cooperation. But, but anyway, uh, that's... Well, I, I mean, it, it is. You might say, yes, it's being misunderstood, but there hasn't been a systematic attempt by him or others to correct that. And furthermore, there, the, the whole emphasis on cooperation or on, on conflict and, and, and selfishness leading to conflict, uh, selfishness uh, um, enabling conflict uh, and implying conflict is uh, the, the trend of contemporary uh, thinking in behavioral ecology.